Happy holidays from the Radio Medium family to yours. Stay tuned in to Spirit for a new season in 2020 by subscribing to the show and following us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Here's one of our best episodes from 2019. Radio Medium is made possible by our sponsors, your hometown lawyers, Kanalski Bresney, Washington Square Realtors who turn houses into homes, Ottawa's WRWO 94.5 FM, Beth Jordan Productions, and many fine individuals contribute their talents to this broadcast. If you'd like to be part of our programming to share your message in exchange for a tax deduction, go to RadioMediumLauraLee.com. Again, go to RadioMediumLauraLee.com. Find insight, guidance, and answers. And answers. Tune into Spirit with Radio Medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee tuning into your spirit now. Do you feel closer to a departed loved one by wearing their favorite and most sentimental possession? My spirit story from Ben shares his personal experiences. He writes, my late uncle was a devoted Cubs fan. He watched and hoped for his team to win as long as I could remember. He wore their shirts, hats, socks, even had cups, mugs, pennants, and bumper stickers. You name it. He had some way to make a statement about his team. When he passed away, he requested to be buried in his Cubs hat and jersey. He imparted this undying loyalty unto me. When my friends and I celebrated the Cubs' triumph at the World Series, I felt my tears of joy were his. In some odd way, I knew my uncle was there alongside me doing the victory dance. My takeaway from Ben's story is that if you wear a possession that belongs to a loved one, be aware you'll inhabit their love as well as their fears. In Ben's case, he took on his late uncle's love for the Cubs. It helped him relish life by being a fan of the team. However, I've also known families to possess and wear loved one's shirts or hats jewelry of some sort that passed away by some traumatic incident could have been a suicide. But what's alarming about this is the individuals who were wearing the possessions also had similar devastating characteristics. My recommendation is that you keep a hold of possessions that are only sentimental. Let go of your attachments to all else so that you can cleanse your soul and also move forward to your grieving process. Nothing is, of course, 100%, but it sure helps. If you have a spirit story like Ben or an angelic encounter you'd like to share with our audiences, go to radiomediumlaurelee.com and send your story on our contact page. We'd love to hear from you. 